This poem is called In My Country, written by Rafiq Ramdani. In my country, they laugh with one eye, and with the other one cry, whispering evil until it looks as sweet as a new bud in the branch of a great tree. In my country, they dig pits for poets in their written poems. They tear off their eyelids at night so that they do not cry their buried tip. They chase a poet's dream and their cages in the hands, cages biting emptiness in regret. In my country, they import the stranger to sing our tragedies and tears. They sell olives before olive trees, even bloom denying the truth that they are as old as Rome. In my country, they slaughter starlings to squeeze the oil they drank in a moment of fear from olives. They incite parents against their children and pound peace on the back of cement. In my country, they burn wheat and forests and act like being surprised by the cunning and wickedness of a falcon. They insult children just because they are children. It doesn't matter. When they grow up, they will forget. A poet does not forget. A poet remembers and buries all the graves in himself until, until he erupts one day. A poet dreams outside the walls of sleep, scatters existence and would not regret it. He does not recognise death and does not atone. He cries with both eyes and laughs with both of them. His nails are eaten by the snow and bashed by the wind. In my country, the killer walks at the funeral of the murdered weeping over tombs, like a broken storm coming from Greece. In my country, everyone has poetry that he does not have the courage to dream, write or carry on his shoulders, like a forgotten heroine. In my country, pigeons build their nests on electrical wires, because they know from the beginning that trees have become booby traps that wildfire has become a bitter reality. I hear them searching for the possibility of nesting on their own backs and allowing the sun to incubate their eggs until they hatch. You would find me whispering in my chest to my chest, what is this torment? I'm worrying like a hill contoured by wolves. I'm inventing, collecting plenty of reasons why my country must be beautiful, and it is with the truth that it does not want to be as they want me to paint it. My country is as beautiful as a mosaic on which hyenas give birth and eat carrion. It is beautiful like a jugular vein under scissors all of a sudden. It is beautiful like a bird counting its feathers every day in a cage. It is as beautiful as the mines that travel to another country, beautiful like sea salt that a stranger sees as sugar beautiful to the limit of being ephemeral, beautiful as a rose battling the dunghills and sapping defiantly the hell in their smells.